This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Netflix. It's time once again to check port 53 because we're getting our email over DNS today for some reason. I don't know. We're just okay. going to dig it. All right. Huh? So this question is from Tom. He asks, I have seen many times you do the ls command in Linux, but I've always been wondering why. You're probably thinking, what a funny question, right? Well, I am new to Linux, and even worse, I am self-taught. So my question is, why use ls command when l does the same thing? Yeah, good point. If I do an ls here, you'll see that there are my files. If I do an l, you'll see there are also my files. But the command is actually ls. And if you're uh, a veteran to bash, and let me just say right off the bat, there's nothing wrong with like being self-taught. I would probably tell you that like 99% of the your fellow peers watching are also self-taught, and that's the way to do it, I think. Me too. You know, I mean, like... And you too, you didn't go to school for this. No, I mean, like, I went to school and they taught me some of this stuff, but honestly, I could have taught, I could have taught some of those classes. Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, you, like, you'll pick up a little nugget here and there, and it's really all about sharing and experimenting. I sound like a hippie, but <laughs> that's, like, the that whole hacker thing, though. It really is. Like, ask anyone in IT. I think, I mean, yeah, it's you true. can't... <laughs> You can teach it, right? You can you can like be taught IT. You can get an MCSE, but <laughs> do you know it, there's a difference between like being able to learn and being able to like understand? Right. Oh, I agree. Anyway, so that aside, um, in your regular in your home directory. So if I just do CD, I'm in my home directory. I'm going to cat this file here called .bashrc, and in here you'll see that we have a bunch of these aliases, and the one in question here alias l equals ls tax cf. So by entering okay. l and hitting enter, you're doing the same thing as running ls tax cf. If you liked ls tax la, I like that one, or lah or lrt, those are all good options. Um, you could just change this right in your bash rc file. There are other ones uh, I've seen a bunch of times, like people put like uh, h for history, um, when those are really just, that's aliases, it's that simple. And so you can come up with your own commands, like DIR if you're coming from DOS and you don't want to have to type LS. Huh. Yeah. All right. So. Very interesting. Which I actually have. I just checked that. So I must already, and you know, I think those are aliases that just come by default. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think it's, like I see, the, uh, I see the reason why you would want to use an alias, but at the same time, I kind of like to like, tend towards using just the actual command because when yeah. you go from system to system to system and then suddenly what you needed isn't there and you freak out and it's like why I use Vim or Vi instead of Nano. Yeah, because like a lot of times like, you know, just go with the basics. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's me. Thank you, Tom. This next question is from Kim. She asks, I was reading Upgrade Your Life by Becky Worley on where you should never do online banking. I also read another article a while back that claims a person who wants to protect their online account info can set up a virtual connection. Is this really safe or do you know of another way to protect your online account info? Oh, I do a lot of traveling so I need to log on to my bank account often. Okay, this is so great. I have to grab this for my office. I've got and one so he right here. All right, so the uh, virtual connection she's talking about is a virtual private network. And I don't know what it is with talking to like when I was talking to CBS and they were like, well, how do you protect yourself from something like this? And I'm like, well, pff, don't use Wi-Fi. It's yeah. a horrible answer, actually. Better answer is like bring your own encryption, you know, like if you're yeah. on a public network, SSH oh, tunnel, VPN. VPN. And so they, they just call it a virtual connection. It's like, do you even, they totally missed the boat. But, um, but this, if I could, like, what is that? This is a, virtu than, this is a virtual LED private light? network. It's a so USB virtual private network. You plug it in and now you're safe. Sure, tell that to your boss. Now, now you have a VPN. LED on a USB and call it a day. But uh, in, all, in all honesty, that's they like... They bought this? Well, no, it's because the media just wants like this, you know, the, the traditional, not us. The traditional media wants this kind of like answer they can just like throw here and there, just like, oh, get a VPN. And unfortunately, yeah. that doesn't translate well to consumers because it's still kind of, you know, they get so confused so easily. Mm -hmm. With the personal confusers and all that, you know, but um, it's hard to understand the well, well, not our audience, though. You guys know, you know, SSH tunnel, get yourself a VPN, right? But if I tried to explain this to my mom, she would not get it. I know, at and all. that's well, that's why it's good for hackers, but bad for consumers, and that's why you should kind of be a little bit of both, yeah. But, um, but yeah, I think that's what she was trying to say is a VPN. I like Weetopias, I've been using that, especially on my Android phone. 
They got the L2TP, the PPTP, all the standard protocols. Mm -hmm. um, and SSH tunneling, we've been doing a lot of that with the new pineapple. So, yes. you know, it's just, it's good stuff to Yeah, it's pretty much the same can. things DNS that uh, tunneling, when I did that Tegzilla interview with mm -hmm. Patrick about the Wi-Fi Pineapple 3, I mentioned those as well. The VPN is really important. Yeah, I use just Weetopia for just to watch the BBC iPlayer. But I got True. a lot of you hate last time I mentioned that. And anyway, we can link in the show notes to plenty of times that we've talked about tunneling of all sorts. Yes. Get your tutorial on. Awesome. Yeah. All right, coming up soon, Technolist Photo of the Week. But first, it's time to take a break. Netflix streams TV episodes and movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. Instantly watch unlimited TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, your Mac, or right to your TV with your PS3, Xbox 360, or Nintendo Wii console. For a limited time, get your free trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash hak5 and sign up now. Netflix is now available in the UK and Ireland. Our viewers over there can get the same free trial as in the US. Just check out netflix.co.uk slash hack5 or netflix.ie slash hack5. It's time for the Technolist Photo of the Week, my friends. Are you ready? I am ready. Hit me. <laughs> this one comes from M. Ride Flock, and he sent us this photo. He said, I made this tie for a great friend and a former A-plus student. The fan actually works, and I'll be making more with LEDs and maybe a small screen on it as well. That's kind of cool. <laughs> super cool. I mean, I've seen, like, the binary tie or the, uh, the, the one that's, like, 8-bit. That one's super cute. Yeah. You know, it's adorable, but I've never seen one actually made out of computer parts, so that's pretty awesome. Computer parts, LEDs, love to all see things that the geeks yeah, love. Yeah, like an yeah. LED, nice. um, a little screen on it that sc scrolls across, like, your With email. Like an alarm or clock. Yeah, and an al alarm clock, yeah. It'd you can stand games. up and do your meetings, and people will be reading it the whole time. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> I've seen some cool belt buckles. Anyway, I'm totally out True, of it right me now. True, too. But I've thank you for sending your technology photos, and you can do that at uh, feedback at hack5.org. Yes. Uh, you could also send crazy photoshops of whatever you like this week. Not me. Options Him. are totally unlimitless. Unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> Save me, Shannon. What do we have next? Uh, trivia. Last week's trivia question was from last season. Bum, bum. What term defines videos transmitted by scanning odd numbered lines in one frame and even lines in the next? You said you hate this. Interlacing. Interlacing. Or is it interfacing? Where'd interlacing? you get that? It's interlacing. I probably spelled it wrong. Yeah, it's... Interlacing. This week's trivia question is, Microsoft Windows Home Server 2011 was codenamed what? Hmm. hmm. Do you know that? No, but I can find out. Let's see, Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I know. As so everyone easy. Just goes and does it. Let's, let's really bump up the truth. Actually, let's do little code snippets. Ooh, that would be fun. Yeah, huh? that would be fun. All okay. Right, well, Answer over at hack5.org slash trivia for your chance to win some swag. Yeah, actually, if you have some ideas of like what kind of crazy stuff we could do, we always love to change around the format a little bit here. Right. From we season do. to season. Here we are. Lucky episode 13. I mean, 1101. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, Hit us up, whatever you'd like to see, because we love that. So feedback at hack5.org. It's not yes. just where you send photos of Shannon riding a pony in a virtual environment with antlers, but you can also tell us what you'd like to see, oh, including like antlers. Cat ears. Go to hack5.org slash follow to find all the places that you can follow us on the web, social crappy craps, and all that I'm fun so stuff, lost. sock puppets. Yeah, go over to hack5.org slash follow and go over to hack5, I mean, the hack shop, which is hakshop.com. <laughs> <laughs> like a week ago, I don't know. <laughs> hakshop.com, which is where you can get our USB rubber ducky as well as the original hack5 t shirt, which is just came back in stock. Yay. Yay. And, and I promise that as soon as I'm done with this dev project, we will uh, be, yeah. we See, will that's be, what's wrong with your come head. Come back to sanity. Yes. You haven't quite gotten no, out of your No, I'm still, I'm still in code. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Well, you can also check out our hack tips while you're waiting for Darren to get out of his coding uh, mind problems over here. Those come on every other Friday at revision3.com and hak5.org. And until next week, I think we're done here. I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. I'm Mr. Early. Trust your technolist. Wait, it goes right here. What? What did I miss? That's for you. Anaphylaxis. Really? Anaphylaxis. All right. Like right there? Is that better? What?
Oh, sorry, I'm just totally spaced. What are we doing? This right? I have no idea. I don't know. As you might imagine, it's going to display that there's a bad interpreter or no such file because there's no such thing as shebang slash bin slash bash. <laughs> so that's the blooper. It's pretty rainbow. Yay! Bummer. Today we are taught. Er, oops. Of course, I screwed up on the third word. Damn. It's all good. Just play us out, keyboard cat. <laughs>